What's up guys? Uh, in this video I will be doing a startup or an activation of the iPad Pro. Um, this is going to be the first time this iPad is powered on. The power button is right up here. I'm going to go ahead and just click it and hold it and the Apple logo pops up. I'll just be taking you guys through all the steps just to kind of see if anything has changed or anything like that. See if there's a variation, What if they added new features or new software or anything like that just to kind of see seems like it's taken a little bit but it's starting up and it's your typical hello startup screen it's going to ask for language I'm going to go with English and then select your country Usually they have the United States on the top, but I'll scroll down and find it. The United States. And connect to uh, a Wi-Fi network. I'll go ahead and do that. Select mine, and I'm going to go ahead and add my password. So there we have it. I got the password then typed in. Hit join. It's moving on. It says it may take a few seconds. Um, location services, I usually keep them off, especially on an iPad. I don't mine's not connected to any kind of any kind of data plan, so it's just gonna be your regular Wi-Fi, which means it's gonna be at home. Um, set up touch ID, I got nothing to hide. Set up later. I won't be using it. If you wanted to set it up, that would be the time. Put in a passcode. I'm not going to. I'm going to hit select passcode options. Don't add passcode. Are you sure you don't want to, uh, to use a passcode? I'm sure. I'll hit continue. And at this point, you can restore. If you have, if you had a, an older iPad and you got rid of it and upgraded, you can uh, restore it from um, iCloud backup, restore from iTunes. Um, I'm just going to set up mine as a new move data from Android. I'm just going to set up as new. And at this point, I can um, add in my Apple ID. That way, I can buy stuff, use the messaging apps, stuff like that. But uh, And I also don't want to um, set up my Apple ID. So I'm going to go have, don't have an Apple ID or forgot I um, forgot it. Set up later in settings. I'm just going to go ahead and hit that. Use ID or don't use. Um, I don't want to use it at the moment. When I go to buy apps, I will need to get it then. So I'll just set it up then. You can always set it up at this time. I'm just going to postpone it and do it a little bit later. And these are your terms and conditions. Down at the bottom, agree. And then here is where you can use Siri. Set up Siri if you were if you were to use it just by holding down the button, it'll talk to you. And since I don't want to do it, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on Siri later. And from here, diagnostics, any kind of problems, it'll send. Um, I usually don't send. And welcome to iPad, get started. And there it is. This seems to be almost identical, almost the same as the other iPhones. I didn't really see notice anything different. Um, the one thing that I did not see on this one is when I was setting up my uh, iPhone 6s, it asked me what kind of grid I wanted. If I wanted, you know, these bigger icons or a bunch of smaller ones to fit like on one screen. I didn't see that. Um, I'll look to see if there is an option for that and try to shrink these up, kind of get them smaller. So that's all I got for this activation, guys. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.